everyone. So for today, I want to talk about a brand new public SMP that is cross-platform for Java and Bedrock users. I'm going to show you exactly how to join all of the information and commands that you need to know about when first joining the SMP. Now, before we jump into this video, stop and check if you are subscribed. It's the big red button down below. If it's red, that means you're not subscribed. So press it and it'll turn gray, which now means you are subscribed. Also, please check if you have dropped a like on this video right now, the big thumbs up button down below. It really means a lot to me. So before we jump into the server, I just want a disclaimer that I do not own this SMP. This SMP is actually owned by Snake City. Snake is our fellow Canadian creator who has a YouTube and Twitch channel. So the links will be in the description please go check him out. Please go subscribe to him. He is the owner of the SMP, so he deserves full credit for this. But now let's jump into everything you need to know. So as I mentioned, it is cross-platform. It works for Java and Bedrock, whether you are on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Mobile, or Switch. So if you are a Java player, all you're gonna need is the IP, which I will put on screen. That is all you need. Just make sure you type it exactly how it looks on screen. Um, it's really easy. I'm just gonna show you. You're gonna go ahead and select add. You can then give it whatever name. So as an example, I'm going to use Unity SMP and then you are just going to go ahead and enter the server IP exactly how it is minus the U at the start. <laughs> hit done and then it'll load up down here. You can go ahead and hit join and it will load you back into the SMP. For the first time you will land at spawn. Now for bedrock users. If you're on Xbox, PlayStation or mobile, then you are good to go. All you require is the same server IP and the server port, which I'll put on screen. Just enter those and you are good to join. However, if you are joining from console, AKA Switch, then you do have to make some minor changes to your Switch console. I have got a full video which explains it step by step. I will leave it in the description of the video, but I'll put a screenshot up of that video. You need to go and follow that video settings first. And once you've done those settings, then you can go ahead and join the server with the exact same server IP and server port. I get so many questions on that video with regards to, is it gonna get me banned? Does it change my switch settings? Does it impact other console switches that I play, other games that I play? It doesn't do anything. It does not break anything. It does not put you at risk of anything. There is no, no, no issues at all. I did those settings on my switch when I published that video. I've been playing it ever since and I've had no issues whatsoever. So the first time you join the game, you will will land at spawn which is the area that I am in right now and you can see there's a whole load of cool funky looking buildings which I believe snake did not build just saying snake okay so the first thing you're going to want to do as long as you have a discord account is link your discord to the server so that way every single action you do is linked to your own discord account so we can actually contact you if we needed to or drop you a note if you don't then everything is still logged but it just doesn't have a discord account linked to it so you might be asking how do i do that so what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to use the command discord link and on screen it will drop a four digit code which i'm just gonna blur out for a second in the unity smp discord i will leave the link to it in the description but over on the bots side of things there is a bot named smp helper if you select that bot you can actually select send a message and it will pull it up like this and all you're going to do is enter that four digit code that you received on screen once you have linked your discord you'll get a successful message which now means everything will be linked to your account if you get the error message like i did above that means your discord account is set to private so all you need to do is click your settings tab 
go on over to your privacy settings and just switch this on for a moment and then you can go ahead and switch it back off once you've done it so that means that it can just direct message you to provide that successful message when with regards to sleep you've just saw it in action right there we've had a member go to sleep and because 50 percent of the server was sleeping it then fast forwards to daytime so we need 50 percent of the server to be asleep and it will skip to the following day which is a really nice feature i think because you still get that flexibility of playing at night time but also moving it back to daytime now the other command you're going to want to do is this forward slash kit starter and you'll see that straight away this gives you all the suitable materials you need to first start out with some food as well as some tools the golden shovel is really important because this lets you claim land when you hold the shovel it actually tells you how many land blocks you have so you can see by default you get 250 50 and then every hour you play you gain blocks so pretty much like every minute you're on the server you're gaining blocks which i think is really good now the way that you use the golden shovel is the normal route as with any server you just click on the two corners to claim the land you can have up to three houses everything that you claim with this just as an example Oh, it's too small. There we go. Everything inside this is protected. So all your chests, animals, absolutely everything is protected. You can do forward slash trust and then select the member that you're wanting to trust, which then means they can access everything and touch your chest, kill your animals, etc. Um, and you can also do un slash claim and then you get all your claim box right back. Now, another really cool feature is forward slash better RTP. And if you select this and don't move for the suggested time, so minus five seconds, it then teleports you into a complete random location, which is really good if you're starting out. You've got all your starter kits, so you can now go ahead and start building in a really random location, which I think is really cool. Um, another nice feature is the trees. If you go ahead and chop one down, it chops all the trees down so there's no floating trees left and it's so much quicker to gain wood which i think is really good we also have to we also have the command forward slash spawn and it takes you back to spawn for in-game currency there is quite a lot of um different things that you can do um the first one is of course forward slash jobs browse and then you can pick a job and you can see there's lots of different ones in here and you go in and it shows you the amount of XP and game currency that you're going to receive from that job. Now, the way that this works is the job that's the least popular gains you the most money. So the one that most people will probably go for is mining, which then means the more people that take mining, the less money it's going to provide you. You can only have one job at a time. If you want to leave that job, it's absolutely fine. You lose your XP for that job though, which is worth bearing in mind. But you can then change it to a more uncommon job and start gaining more money. We also have our forward slash shop as always. It works the same. So right click to buy, right click to sell, left click to buy. I can't tell my lefts from rights if you can already tell, which is a little bit awkward. <laughs> um, and then we also have mc stats which if i enter that command it shows you the levels that you have for all the different skills now this is really cool because you can see there's up to a thousand levels which is insane it's going to take ages to get them but also then that means once you hit a certain level for example with acrobats when you jump you don't take full damage another thing that's really cool is forward slash quests and forward slash quests basically means that you can take a quest out which gives you something to do but also it provides you money which i think is really cool um each quest you get money some quests you can't do without unlocking other quests first in order to do it you have to activate the quest to then be able to do the quest and make the money it's just worth bearing in mind when you're doing something like a crafting quest if you was to craft the particular item that it needs it does take the item afterwards and you don't get to keep the item so just 
bear that in mind when you are using this. On the server, you can come across mobs when it's nighttime, and there is a 50% chance that you will get an elite mob, which basically means that mob is higher levels and much more stronger, making it more tricky to kill and get through. Now, if we go ahead and do the command forward slash AG, it will teleport you to this other area of the map, which honestly is my favorite area because the trees look like cherry blossom and I love it. But if you head on into the building a little bit further down, this is where there is so many adventure guilds that let you do more amazing quests in my opinion it's so cool there's lots of different things going on there should be people here but i don't know why there's not people here so i will need to ask snake but you can come around and explore this area can we see someone down here we can now what does adventure guilds mean well it's in relation to the elite mobs so you can come and take out an adventure quest once you complete that quest you get guild coins you can then level up your guild rank which means that you get a better job there's a blacksmith downstairs you can turn your gear into scrap you can enhance things smelt things if you join the unity smp there is a full wiki on this and how to mess around with it so definitely make sure you're on the discord group so you can investigate that further the last point that I want to make out is you can have up to three homes, which for me is super important. Um, and if you use your gold shovel or lose your gold shovel, you can do forward slash kit claim and it will provide you with a new golden shovel every 10 minutes there is so much more to this server as well you've got the standard commands like tpa accept or tp to someone um you've got your cell commands there are so many other amazing things in this server so make sure you join the discord because it's going to list out all the commands in there but hopefully i see some of you around on this smp because we are going to be streaming it on the weekends thank you so much for watching if you haven't already, please make sure you are subscribed right now and please don't forget to drop a like on the video and I will see you in another video very soon.